Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about ass sweat. Yes, you heard that right, ass sweat. That is when your ass sweats. Why am I talking about it? Because it happens to everyone to varying degrees and nobody really takes the time to go out of their way to prevent that or take care of it. I run half marathons, I play golf, I do a lot of activities. I don't have it to the extent that some people have it, but there are people with a condition that is affectionately called swamp ass. What's that? Well, that's when your, uh, your behind side sweats so much that you're walking down the street. Uh, you go to Disney World, you go to a baseball game, that's not a good look. Now, nobody really attacked that, except for the company called Chassis. Uh, you've seen Chassis on the channel before. They make a couple of products to combat that condition. Uh, you definitely wanna check it out. It helps keep you dry down there. Check out Chassis at the link below. You can go through life comfortably knowing Chassis's got your ass covered. All right, so my cars generally look like shit after a while because I don't really wash them. Today I'm gonna show you how I wash my cars and I'll let you guys sort of destroy my <laughs> techniques. Um, here I've got my a spider, it's an ant, cool. Uh, that's a bad place to be, homie. Um, I will let you guys critique my washing ability. Now, oh, it is a spider. Oh, I hate spiders. It's a recurring theme here. Why are you guys following me? Oh, now he's dead. Now he's gonna be washing my car with me. Um, so I take my bucket, which I attempted to rinse out. There's nothing really, it's pretty clean. Uh, I pour in my car wash, about a, a cup full. Then I turn on the water, stand by while I do that. Now the technique is not perfect, but you hit it from up here to create some bubbles. You rinse this thing off, which I think is for wheels, but I use it uh, interchangeably for cleaning the car. And then you start with a gentle, that's enough water for this car. Start out with a gentle, oh, it's called a waterfall on the car, just a little bit, just to get it wet. Got some pollen, got some bird poop. You do the old finger trick. Some of you young guys probably don't know that yet. That was a joke, sorry. That's why your parents tell you not to watch me. Now you can notice I don't really wash my car in direct sunlight because it ends up drying before I have a chance to effectively clean it off. Oh, bird shit, gross. All right. Uh, I don't know how to combat, and it's, I think, just a couple more washes and it'll take care of it. But the tree sap, pain in the butt. Um, but having trees around your house, it's inevitable. But this is just a little quick cleanse. I use this side to scrub. All right. So essentially I just hit the entire car with the scrubber. And then I get the wheels too, just to clean them up. And I know it's sort of, I mean, the first thing people are gonna cringe at is I use the same thing to clean the wheels of the car, but it's just easier. Not really a, a high level detail here, just a, a quick cleanse. All right, let's turn the water on and rinse her down now that the car is nice and soaped, well, soapier than it was. And again, just a gentle, gentle hit. Now there's the sap that needs a, yeah, we'll have to take care of that. They make professionals for that. Uh, general rule of thumb, don't wear sort of deck shoes when you wash your car, because your feet get wet. All right. And as I said, it's nice to not do this in direct sunlight so the car doesn't dry off. If your car is hot and you do this in direct sunlight, your car will actually dry off 
prior to you even being able to dry it. And that's not the goal, because then it'll dry with spots on it. See, I didn't do, didn't do so hot right there. That bird had my number. Yeah. It's better than it was. All right, now that the soap is off, I prefer to dry my car with a, a chamois, or whatever these things are called. And these things are actually better when wet. You don't want to just hit it on a dry car. It'll probably scratch it. But this is a key indicator that I suck at washing my car. And I'll show you why in a second. These are ultra absorbent. It's actually called the absorber. <laughs> because it helps dry the car quickly. And there's a technique, I believe. Um, I just sort of rub it. But uh, there is a good technique to use these. Now it's nice and soft because it was wet. It's, it's actually, you don't think about that, but it's good to wet something before you dry your car. And you just sort of, the, the correct technique I believe is something along the lines of that, but it takes longer. And how I know, and the good indicator that I suck at cleaning my car, is this is supposed to be super clean and it's got dirt on it. So if I only use this cloth to clean a car that, to dry a car that was cleaned, having dirt on it is a good indicator that I am not doing a very good job of actually doing the cleaning process. I'm just sort of making it look a little better. Now you could, uh, you'll see, I mean, obviously water is coming out of this. And it does look like it is a little wet still, which is okay in the Rob Ferretti book because that dries with the air very quickly and it doesn't leave the, uh, the streak spots or the water spots all over the car, which is your main concern when drying the car is that you don't leave water spots on the car. You also don't want to let your, uh, the dry, you don't want anything really to hit the ground. Uh, and if it does, I generally won't use it again, especially since these things are pretty cheap. But you don't want to ever get like dirt or rocks in your drying or, or uh, cleaning tools because that's what you're rubbing on the cars. And that's pretty much where most of the swirl marks probably come from. All right. And like that, the car is clean. Er, the rag, the, the uh, drying cloth doesn't seem to be much dirtier, but I didn't do the wheels. And there's probably say, the main victim or the main culprit of the dirty cloth is the wheels. But uh, I mentioned I didn't obviously do a very good job cleaning them, but there's so many nooks and crannies on wheels that make it a little bit more difficult. But it looks better, and this is just a rag. So all of uh, 15 minutes from start to finish, like uh, I'm sure in the comments people are going to tear me up, I don't admit that I'm good at washing cars. That's why I don't do it. It's just to go to a hand wash for 15 bucks. <clears throat> they seem to bang it out much better than I can do. But today I decided to show you my limited knowledge and technique as far as washing cars and pretty much explain why my cars look like crap until I get them paint corrected. But I like to drive them. They look good when they're moving. They look good. Uh, like. They even look good when they're close. I, I don't really destroy the cars too much because most of the time I don't wash them. But cars are meant to have fun with, not really baby in a garage. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you see how I clean my cars when I do it. I do it twice a year. Um, in about 15 minutes, you get this. And there's some important stuff to learn from what I did wrong. Commenters, take it away.